Earlier in the season, West Virginia was matched up against San Jose State, and they just put their foot on the gas and did not let up. Jack Allison, their senior quarterback, threw for four touchdowns, and we just did not have an answer for all of these weapons in this spread offense. But today is a new day, and we are now lined up to rematch them in the Holiday Bowl. What's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and I'm ready for this rematch. This is the rematch we've been waiting for, and this is a different game. But unfortunately, we do not get them at full strength. And this might be part of the reason why they're 6-6. Six six. Quarterback Jack Allison has a complete PCL tear and is out for the entire season. So we will face sophomore Trey Lowe. And he is kind of a mix of Jack Allison and kind of a scrambler. And he's an interesting guy. I mean, he's not really great overall. But I think that he can do enough to at least get the ball to their weapons on offense so we're hopping straight into the action here's a first gotcha, snap bitch. too low and that's a sack to open the game michael cummings is fired up from the last time we played him and he makes it an early third and long but here is low on a third and 12 throwing out to tevin bush who went over 100 yards the last time we played him and he had two scores and he gets the long first down there gain of 22. So here is Petaway getting his first carry. He's breaking up the middle for 11 yards and a first down past the 50. So a couple plays later here out of third and seven. Here's a draw play, but this time he's going to get tackled by Jonathan Leonard Jr., who is playing in his final game as a Spartan, and we get them to punt on their first drive. So here comes Drayvon Jennings, the true freshman, out his first pass out to Billy Humphreys, and that's a catch by the senior and that's a gain of 12. So now on a second and seven carry, here is Tyler Nevins with that carry, getting four yards and going over a 1,000 yards on the season. Congrats to him. So now third and four, here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side, buying a little bit of time. He's going to throw in traffic, and that one's picked off. He probably should have put a little more air under that one. Take another look. It was just underthrown it should have been a lob and that's an interception and now West Virginia is set up with good field position so now here is low from a second and 11 here is throwing out to Haskins and Haskins is picking up 15 yards and that's a first down so at the 27 yard line here is the sophomore this time he's going to scramble up the middle he's going to have a lane and nobody in front of him and he's picking up a gain of 17 set up inside the 10 yard line so now here is Petaway on the option pitch, and he's getting smacked at the one, but he does pick up a first down and a new fresh set of downs. So now on a first and goal, here is Lowe scrambling out to the right side. He's stumbling in, and that's a touchdown, and West Virginia takes advantage of the turnover, and they take the 7-0 lead. So now here is the Spartans' offense back out on the field, handing the ball off to the senior Tyler Nevins. He's picking up four on that one. So second and six, here is a jet sweep, this time to Jamal Taylor, who's gonna be going into his junior season next year, playing with both of his brothers, Elijah and Jamal, but on the next player, that's actually Jay, Tyler Nevins gets stuffed on that one, so we have to punt the ball to West Virginia. So here the first pass is low to the sideline, that's Giovanni Haskins again, that's a gain of 23. So now at the 40-yard line, first and 10, throw out to the left side. He's got Simmons, TJ Simmons. They got so many weapons. They still have these guys healthy. Even though Jack Allison isn't in there, everybody's still in place. Here's Petaway on the draw play. He's picking up 11 after throwing off Trey Webb on that one. So first and 10 at the 15 now. Snap, throw to the left side. There is Drew Bowen, the senior receiver. He's picking up eight. Second and two now from the shotgun. Another pass out to the right side. That's Tevin Bush for the five-yard touchdown reception. And West Virginia takes the 14-0 lead. So now winding down the first quarter, here's a quick throw out to Tyler Nevins. He's picking up about a gain of seven. Remember, this defense 
is pretty tough. So now to start the second quarter here, second and three. Here's a throw out to the left side, and that one's going to be picked off by Long. And wow, another turnover in the early parts of the game. But take another look. Jamal Taylor gets bumped off of his route, and that's actually going to be an interception. And now West Virginia is set up with great field position gotcha, again. Bitch. But on the first play of the next drive, there is Terrence Miller on the sack and recovery. Wow, he forces the fumble and picks it up himself. He does it all. There he is, our leading sack getter two years in a row. And he makes a big play and maybe even the biggest of his career. So now here on a third and seven, here is Drayvon Jennings going to throw out to the right side. And that's overthrown. Carl Wolf was wide open on that. Drayvon Jennings might be a little rattled after those two picks. And now we have to punt the ball away to them again. So now here's West Virginia on the next drive, throwing it out to Petaway on the screen pass. And he's losing ground on that one. A loss of two yards. And now we get him to a third and 11 from the pistol formation. Here is low, throw out to the left side. That's almost picked off by Cameron Smith. And we get them to punt the ball back. So now we come back out onto the field, set up after a good return. Here's Jennings, throw out to the middle of the field. And there is Billy Humphreys. He's picking up a gain of 21 in his final game as a Spartan. Second and eight now, past the 35 yard line. Here is Jennings, throw over the middle. There's a wide open Trey Walker. He's got a gain of 17. And he's got a first down in his final game. A lot of seniors on this team. So now throw out to the left, right side. That's Carl Wolf. He's in for the 14 yard reception and touchdown. And now we are back in this game down by seven. So five minutes left here in the second quarter. Here's Petaway getting the hand off to the right side. He's got a lot of room. He almost picks up another block. He probably could have broke that one away, but instead he's taken down at about the 40 yard line. So first and 10, here is low. Quick throw over the middle to Drew Bow, and he's only picking up a gain of three. So now four minutes left in the second. Third and seven, throw out to the flat, and that's actually tipped. Nice play that time by the senior Jalen Nelson, another senior, and they have to kick the long field goal, and that one is gonna be good. And just like that, they take the 10 point lead back up to two scores. So now three and a half minutes left here in the second quarter, quick throw across the middle. There is Trey Walker picking up 17, and the senior has been nothing but reliable the last three years. So now first and 10 at the 40 yard line. Jennings throwing across the middle. There's Trey Walker again, and he's getting to about the 38 on that. Another gain of 20 and a first down. So first and 10, play action fake to Tyler Nevins. Gonna chuck this one deep. He's got a man, and that one's barely tipped by Derek Pitts. Jamal Taylor may have had a step on that one, but instead it's now a third and six. Throw across the middle. Here's Carl Wolf. He's catching the ball and getting smacked, and he puts it on the ground in West Virginia. Scoops it up. Take another look. He breaks through one tackle and gets smacked on the second, and he can't hold on to the ball. So three turnovers so far in the first half. Here is Lowe scrambling out to the right side. He's only picking up a gain of two. And now it is a third and eight. Low from the shotgun throw out to the right side. That one's going to be to Giovanni Haskins again. But that's a tackle by Isaac Tagia, And we get the punt. So coming back out with the under two minutes left. Here is a throw to the left side. Matt Pollard with the spin move but loses a little bit of control on that one. Picking up a gain of 14. So second and 10. Throw out to the right side. There is Jamal Taylor, the true sophomore. He's getting 14 yards. And Drayvon Jennings, a couple of nice throws to start this drive. The next throw across the middle. There is Carl Wolf. That's a gain of seven. And now we're set up past the 50-yard line. So Jennings scrambling out to the right side. This time going to take it himself. He's going to get tackled. Actually, the clock's going to keep running on that one. So here we go on a first and 10 at the 40. Snap to Jennings from the shotgun. Here's a throw to the right side. That's a beautiful, beautiful throw. Great timing on that one to Matt Pollard. And that's another first down. So now set up inside the 20 yard line. Throw out to the right side. And that's Billy Humphreys keeping his feet in bounds. And that's a gain of 16. 
So now with 30 seconds left, we hand it off to Jay Taylor, and he's getting in for the touchdown four yards out. And just like that, we go into halftime down by three after a couple of late scores. We rallied, and we're still in this game. So now to start the second half, here is Jennings. We do get the kickoff. So now we have the advantage here, running the jet sweep to Raheem Akusi. Scrambling out to the right side, here's Jennings. His first throw is caught by Trey Walker, and that's a gain of 16 on the sideline. Second and seven, now past the 50-yard line. Here is Tyler Nevins with his biggest run of the game so far. Remember, West Virginia has a really tough run defense, as that's a gain of nine. So now throw out to the left side on a first and 10 pass, and that's Matt Pollard. That's a gain of 18. He's got 50 yards receiving in this one. So second and nine, there's a counter play to the right, left side, and that one's actually going to be stopped behind the line. That's a loss of one tackle by Sean Mahone. So third and 10, throw out to the flat. I don't want to make a mistake there, and there's Tyler Nevins, but he gets out of bounds, and we get to have we have to settle for a field goal and now it's a 17 to 17 game. So here comes West Virginia back out onto the field, throwing a screen pass out to start the next drive. There's Petaway breaking away and he's picking up about a gain of 11 on that one. And that's a first and 10 set up at the 40. Snap too low, here he is rolling out to the right gotcha, side. Bitch. That's actually gonna be a sack. Jonathan Leonard Jr. in his final game, he gets a sack. So that's a good thing to see him kind of come out on top with a sack gotcha, on the next play. Here's Trey Lowe trying to get out, but that's Terrence Miller there for the sack, the true sophomore. So now it's a third and 15, running a screen pass out to the left side. Trey Webb is there, and he's got the tackle. That's only a gain of two, and we get them to punt the ball away to our offense. So now coming back out on the field, we haven't been able to put together a nice long drive except for that one at the end of the half. Here is Jay Taylor starting off with a gain of four. So third and one, handoff up the middle. There is a nice, oh my, lowering his head on that one. And look at Tyler Nevis just straight plowing through that middle linebacker. And that's a first down, a big third and one run on that one. So now here is Drayvon Jennings getting out of the pocket this time, taking it himself. And he's picking up 11 yards on that one. And here we go, we are set up on the other side of the 50. On the next play, here he is running it once again. This time it gets out of bounds. That's kind of a late tackle. They didn't call the flag on that one. So now we do eventually pick up the first down. Here is Jennings once again running for his life. And here he is getting a lot of room to the left side and picking up a gain of nine. So now on a third and one, 30 seconds left in this third quarter. Here's a handoff up the middle. And Tyler Nevins got three yards, but... Man, yards have been hard to come by in this one. So now on a first and goal, here's another handoff to Nevins. He can't get anything going, only a gain of three. So second and goal here, start the fourth quarter, running, running out to the right side. There is Jennings. He cuts inside, and that's a five-yard touchdown run from Drayvon Jennings. He had about four scrambles on that drive, and that one pays off as it takes the seven-point lead. So now here is Lowe on the next drive, throwing out to Tevin Bush, and he's got about a gain of nine, and he hasn't been having as much productivity as the last game, but he's still a threat. But here is Brown running the ball with some bulliness, and he's taking this one past the 50. He breaks three tackles on that run. So now West Virginia is set up at about the 40-yard line. Here is Lowe with some good protection, throwing out to his running back, Bush, and that's going to be a 28-yard reception on that one. And Tevin Bush, he's got 78 yards receiving. Maybe I spoke too soon. Here is Petaway on the option, getting the pitch. And he's breaking in for the touchdown. The ball breaks the plane. And that's a 10-yard touchdown run. And Lowe ties this game up on that drive. And here we go, 24-24. Can we close the game out on this drive? Here's Tyler Nevin starting it out. He's picking up about a gain of five on that one. So second and six. Here's a throw out to the flat. There's Tyler Nevin. He's falling forward for the first down. We needed that one as we continue to milk this clock and move the ball. Here's Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's dying. 
diving for the first. He's got a gain of 10. And now we're inside of four minutes. Counterplay to the left side. There's Tyler Nevins trying to get some running room, but that's only a gain of six. So second and four, now past the 50 yard line. Here is Tyler Nevins breaking a tackle, and he's moving upfield six yards on that one. So first and 10, under three minutes left. Here is Trey Walker getting the catch across the middle, and he's holding on to that one for a gain of seven. So now, fast forward, third and six, throw out to the middle of the field. That's Carl Wolf who's open, and he gets to the middle of the field, and now we are set up in field goal range. All we have to do is just move this ball closer for an easier field goal. And here's Tyler Nevins doing just that, picking up six, and we get set up for a game-winning field goal as the time winds down. And here is Papa Zian click kicking this one, and that one is good. And just like that, we take advantage of that last drive, five minutes. We drain all of the time, and we come away with the victory and man, we get our revenge. This one felt good. It would have felt better if Jack Allison was playing, but I'll take the win. And we just take care of business in, in the bowl game. Once again, we are 3-0 in bowl games. And this has been probably our best team we've had yet. And I, I got to admit, I'm pretty satisfied with this season. Our first season in the Pac-12, you obviously want to be better. But we did pretty good. We held our own. We ended up losing to West Virginia earlier in the season, then coming back and upsetting them once again. I guess this wasn't really an upset, but they obviously did beat us the first time. But Ter Terrence Miller gets player of the game with the forced fumble and fumble recovery, two sacks, as this was just a good game all around. I got to admit the two interceptions. The first one was bad, but the second one, it was kind of a bump, so... I'm not counting that against Drayvon Jennings. He had a great season. He had a good season throwing the ball to everybody as nobody really stood out as the clear number one receiver this whole season. But Trey Walker does ride off into the sunset with a pretty good career here at San Jose. So we do have a bunch of seniors and we're gonna need to replace all those guys, especially in the secondary. I mean, a ton of them. And it's going to be a different looking defense. I got to admit, we're losing a pass rusher in Cameron Alexander. We're losing another pass rusher in Tyson Parker. Then we're losing our safeties, both of them. And then we're losing two corners in Nehemiah Shelton and also uh, Jalen Nelson. So this is going to be a different looking team next year. And I'm excited to see what we can do with probably a younger defense we'll have to see how it's going to look but going into the offseason i am going to probably uh post the alabama and georgia rematch for the national championship i want to look at that and I, I i'm impressed by this season what do you guys think of this season overall and what positions do you think we need to kind of switch it up at because you know we didn't have a lot of sacks this year maybe getting another pass rusher on the right side of the defense the left side of the defense will help with that and uh i'm hoping for hopefully a conference championship bid next season we'll have to see so hit subscribe hit that like button like i said next episode is probably going to be the alabama georgia game or maybe i might even just have a quick highlight before the offseason video we'll see so stay tuned let's get it season three officially finished let's go